Number 44, integrated concepts. Electromagnetic radiation from a 5 milliwatt laser is concentrated on a 1 millimeter square area. Letter A, what is the intensity of watts per meter squared? So intensity is simply going to be power over area. The power they gave you in milliwatts, but you know we need that in watts, so simply take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. Divided them by the area. So the area is a little trickier. So this is 1 millimeter squared. So if you had to do the conversion right here in the, in the uh, fraction, millimeters on the bottom, meters on the top, for every one meter, there's a thousand millimeters, and then you got to square it. Okay, so that's all it would be. So basically, now we're going to take five times ten to the minus three divided by now parentheses one divided by uh, one thousand squared. Okay, and we get a value of five thousand. So the intensity here is about five thousand watts per meter squared. All right, so that takes care then of letter uh, A. Letter B. Suppose a 2 nanocoulomb static charge on the beam was the maximum electric force it experiences. So now you have to remember this formula from way back when, right? That the force is going to be equal to the charge multiplied by the electric field. The maximum force should equal then uh, the charge multiplied by the maximal electric field. So now here's the thing. The electric field, how do we know that by just knowing the intensity? Well, we have a relationship over here. This formula, right? We have derived now a way to solve for uh, electric field uh, as a function of then intensity in several, several problems. So all I'm going to now do is just start plugging it in, okay? So this will be then the square root of then 2i all over c times then the permittivity of free space. So the charge here is 2 nanocoulombs, so we need that in coulombs, so that's simply 2 times 10 to the minus 9th, multiplied by square root of 2 times the intensity, which we just found was 5,000, all then divided by speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8th, Multiplied by the permittivity, which is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12th. Keep that all on the bottom, and that's it, okay? So let's do it. So 2 times 10 to the minus 9th, multiplied then by square root of 2 times 5,000, divided then by parentheses 3 times 10 to the 8 times 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. Close those parentheses, and here we go. 3.88 times 10 to the negative 6. Newtons. And then letter C. If the static charge moves for uh, 400 meters per second, what maximum magnetic force uh, can it uh, feel? So then, um, so we need a formula now for magnetic force, and we're talking right. So F, you might remember for the last chapter, this letter C, F equals QVB. So uh, the force here is, it says magnetic force can it feel? So now, we're, that's what we're solving for, magnetic force, okay? The charge here is, again, 2 nanocoulomb, so that's 2 times 10 to the minus 9th, the velocity they gave to us, 400 meters squared, and now the B. So B is over here now, okay? So I'm going to solve that equation for B, so that would be then the square root, okay, of then 2 times the permeability of free space times the intensity, all then divided by the speed of light, okay? So when you plug this in, remember the permittivity is going to be 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th, Speed of light is then 3 times 10 to the 8. I'm just going to plug it in, all right? So 2 times 10 to the minus 9th times then 400 times then square root of now 2 times 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th times that intensity we found before of 5,000 divided then by the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8. And here we go, 5.18. So the force here... So the force here is going to be 5.18 times 10 to the minus 12th, okay, Newtons. All right, guys, that does it. So hopefully that helps, all right? Bunch of formulas coming from all over the place, but, uh, you know, that's the benefit of uh, doing a ton of practice, all right? You got to try to remember some of these formulas, and uh, I don't know if you have a formula sheet or not, but you definitely should try to try to memorize them. We'll see you soon. Take care.